Peya Perek Zion Mishnehe. We're going to continue our study of uh, Geffen. Le- last Mishnah we learned about Ololot. So now we're going to continue discussing what happens to when you prune, basically. Says the Mishnah, Meidal Bagafanim. Meidal, you see the Bartunera says, Kishagafanim to Kufim Zeacharzeh, when they're very close to each other, Oker Me Otam Shibin Time. You're basically pruning. And if you look at the, uh, the, the Jastro, you look at Meidal, that's, he says, Hifil Abdalal. So you look up Dalal. Okay. And what you get is the Jastro bonus. Here we go. One second. A peya. Okay. Da, 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 thins the vineyard. Okay. To thin, to take off grapes, to take out plants in order to give the remainder more room. Or, as we say, prune. Anyway, says the Mishnah. Hamedam bagafanim. So the question is, if I'm doing my, if I'm pruning my, my grapes and I have leket, excuse me, not leket, I have peya or ololot. Right? Can I remove, just like I prune my own stuff, I'm going to take away some potential grapes, clusters for myself. Can I also remove the ani? Says the Mishnah, Kashem shu meidal, meidal betoch shalom. Kenu meidal b'shalanim. Tibre Abiyuda. Abiyuda says that the Vartanura explains that they're shutafim, they're partners. So it's not that the ani owns the grapes of the ololot or the, or the, or the peya. And just like you prune your own things, you're getting rid of some potentially uh, edible fruit of your own grapes, so therefore you can also do the anim. Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Meir says no. Bishalohu rashai, ve'ino rashai bishal anim. Interesting. So the machlokit is, what is the nature of the ownership of the of the matnot anim? Rabbi Meir says your partners. So just like you do for yourself, you do for your partner. Rabbi Meir says anim din kone yesh dem bechalkam. The ani is an owner in this in his portion. If I sell you ten clusters, I can't touch them. He says the halacha belongs to is like Rabbi Yehuda, but it's just fascinating the nature of the machloket, and even the thing. The most interesting thing is Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir, the Rabbi Yehuda, we understand that yes, I'm going to give it to you. It's yours to some degree. But Rabbi Meir's opinion that it, he is the owner of the matnot and it really changes the equation. And like we've talked about a number of different different examples that we've talked about matnot aniim not belonging to me, and the message behind it being that, that he is a partner. He has a right to come into my field, he has a right to come take peya. Similarly, in this case, with regard to pruning, Rabbi Meir says, uh, it, it doesn't belong to you. You don't have the right to prune his, uh, his, his uh, grapes. They belong to him. If you have any comments or questions, email me rspolter at gmail.com. Please feel free to share this mishnayon, share these videos, spread the word. And I want to dedicate this learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Talman. Have a great day.